Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem F5-1 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 15th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at the supports and we have to neglect the thickness of the beam. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to draw the support reactions. So at point A, I have a pin support, so I have a vertical support reaction and the horizontal support reaction. The point B is roller supported, so I just have a vertical reaction here. Let's label them. This right here is AY and this is AX and this is BY. Also, we have to resolve this 5 kN force into its components. So I have one vertical component and one horizontal component. For the vertical and the horizontal components of this 5 kN force, we have to consider this 3, 4, 5 triangle. So the vertical component is 5 into the ratio of opposite which is 4 divided by the hypotenuse which is 5. For the horizontal component, we have 5 into the ratio of adjacent which is 3 divided by the hypotenuse which is 5. Now we can apply our equations of equilibrium to find the values of unknowns. So my first equation would be summation of moments at point A equals to 0. I am considering the counterclockwise direction as positive. Since the line of action of AX and AY is passing through the point A, so they will not produce any moment about the point A, which is serving as a pivot point, because they don't have any momentum with respect to the point A. The vertical component of the 5 kN force is trying to rotate the beam in clockwise direction about the point A, so the moment produced by this vertical component would be taken as negative. So negative 5 into 4 upon 5 times the moment arm and the moment arm is 2 meter. The horizontal component, if we neglect the thickness of the beam, then the horizontal component is also passing through the point A, which I have shown with the dotted line. And since the horizontal component's line of action is passing through the point A, so it will not produce any moment about point A as well because it does not have any momentum with respect to the point A. Now for the BY force, the BY force is trying to rotate the beam in counterclockwise direction about point A. So the moment produced by the BY force will be taken as positive. So positive BY and the moment arm is 2 plus 2 4 meters. Also, we have this external moment of 6 kN and it is clockwise, so it would be taken as negative equals to 0. So, upon simplification, we have negative 8 plus 4by minus 6 equals to 0. So, from here, by comes out to be 3.5 kN. And this is our first answer. For AX, we can do summation of forces in the X direction equals to 0. I am considering the right hand side as positive. So we have negative AX plus the horizontal component of the 5 kN force. So 5 into 3 upon 5 equals to 0. So from here, AX comes out to be 3 kN. So this is our second answer. And for AY, we can do summation of forces in the Y direction equals to 0. I am considering the up direction as positive. So we have AY plus BY minus the vertical component of the 5 kN force. So 5 into 4 upon 5 equals to 0. And since we do know the value of the by, 
So if I substitute it into this equation, then I have ay plus 3.5 minus, they would get cancelled out, so just 4 equals to 0. So from here, ay comes out to be 0.5 kilonewtons. And this is our third answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you would find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.